It might look like a standard car, but this Subaru Liberty Wagon is really a high-tech laboratory on wheels. Donated to UNSW by Subaru Australia, it's a unique road safety research tool that could make our roads a lot safer. The first of its kind in New South Wales, it's chock full of cameras and equipment to help researchers better understand driver performance in real world conditions. The exciting thing about this car is, which I'm all the whole team, the research team is really thinking about is um, how these cameras are going to be monitoring the uh, person that's sitting inside the vehicle. We'll be able to track their eyes, where they're looking, we'll be able to look externally as to where the environment that they're driving. There's laser systems also that are going to be able to track the lane change as well as the proximity of vehicles front to rear and so we'll be able to monitor the environment in terms of what conditions the uh, driver is being confronted with and how they're reacting. And it's not your average bunch of groceries in the back. This is effectively what $200,000 will buy you. UNSW researchers will use the car to answer a host of road safety questions. How long should P-platers really spend in supervised driving, for example? And what affects drivers' ability to pick out road signs from all the other distractions on the road? The instrumented car is really a dream come true for we researchers. Um, it allows us to validate some of the work that we do in the lab, um, actually out on the road, and to measure the sorts of responses of drivers, um, either to themselves or to conditions on the road. So it's ideal for us to, to use, after we've done a lot of work in the lab, to then use the instrumented car to make sure that what we see in the lab actually does occur on the road as well. Perhaps the biggest challenge confronting road safety researchers is to help reduce the number of fatigue-related road deaths, currently standing at 300 per year, the same as a jumbo jet crashing and killing everyone on board. Fatigue really is an intractable problem, one of our major road safety intractable problems, um, simply because we it happens to everybody and can happen at any time. I mean, certainly if you haven't slept much last night, then you're going to experience fatigue and, and you'll have more trouble driving safely. Um, if you've been awake for long periods of time, you're going to experience fatigue and you're going to have trouble driving safely. Um, but the trouble is we're not very good at deciding when it is that where our fatigue is too great for us to, to drive. And in fact, m many times, most people will actually continue to drive even though they know they're tired and they probably shouldn't be driving at all, should be taking a taxi. The Injury Risk Management Research Centre will put nearly $1 million into road safety research over the next three years. This vital work is being supported by the National Health and Medical Research Council, the Australian Research Council and Subaru Australia.